Today in Suncoast View, Manatee Schools will be ask, asking taxpayers for more money to make the school day longer. We'll discuss. You can shop till you drop with us today. Our gift girl has highlights from the Atlanta market and the Rosemary Indie Market is here with a preview. Many people don't realize there's a very exclusive graduate acting program right here on the Sun Coast. We'll learn more about the FSU Oslo Conservatory from a student. All of that and more right now on Sun Coast View. <laughs> Welcome to the show and welcome back to Pam McCurdy. Great to have you with us. Thank you. Glad to be back here with you and especially on an FSU uh, student. It's kind of an alum thing it's for me. It's an alum thing. Yeah, I know. We can't wait to hear about everybody's experience at the FSU Conservatory. Absolutely. Cool. New year, new you, new hair. I know. Yeah. I wish we had a picture of my hair last night because it was completely straight and woke up this morning and men, menopause is true. <laughs> so did you just cut it off last night? Yes, just cut it off and oh. went to the hockey game. That's oh, nice. amazing. Yeah. It looks great. It does oh. look great. It does. Thank you. That never happened to me. I don't believe it. Well, you go to bed with straight hair and wake up with curly. Yep, absolutely. A little flash will do it to you, you know? <laughs> And good short hair for your um, for your bridge runs. That's right. Oh, <laughs> I, you know what? I love the Ringling bridge runs. I like a, a lot of the organized bridge runs. Number one, it's cardio, it's camaraderie, and it's about our community. Mm -hmm. It's really great to be able to uh, be with everyone out there, see some of our local businesses, absolutely, get to know their faces, like Channel Seven as well. And now, was that? ABC. Do you do those for times for yourself, or do you do it just to do it? You know, I have become very competitive. So, uh, you know, Good yes. You. you do care about your personal time. I do time care about my personal time. See, that's time. why I don't do them, because I, there's yeah. too many people who are caring and yeah. running me over. But, I mean, there's a lot of people out there, once again, for that same thing, for the camaraderie, yeah. for the cardio, and, you know, not to try to make special times on right. that. And it's always good to see everyone. It's a great, believe it or not, it's a great networking event, too. No, it but is. you're being humble because you did very well. I did do pretty good, I have to admit. Tell oh, us tell really? us where you placed. Um, well, I placed 17th in my age division. Yes, and, good uh, for you. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of menopausal women out there running. You know? We're well, picking think, it up. I We're picking it, it up. I Oslo rep. I think it was your education. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Awesome. Well, but, yeah. Good. And it was very I windy, too. I would join you next year, because I was sad at myself for not doing it this year. So yeah, you're, you're do giving it. me come encouragement. On out. I'll so. start now, and maybe I'll come in by next year. <laughs> you have a competitive streak, though. Are you I prepared know, for I that don't, to Not with exercise? running. you got to okay. know where you can compete. Right. you got to know your arena. Right. And racing <laughs> is not mine. But I'll, I like the idea of being out there to do it. Yeah. So that's yeah. a lot of fun. All right, that means I'm going to have to cut off desserts, and that's not <laughs> happening today, because I've already seen where we're headed. Chef Ray from Madison's 41 is in the kitchen, and I see my favorite things all at once chocolate wine cherries what are you doing to me yes mm. we're gonna drink some wine and eat some dark chocolate today <gasps> oh yes okay yes <laughs> if we must <laughs> exactly <laughs> tell us what we are creating we are creating a red zinfandel dark chocolate cake with um Bittersweet chocolate ganache mm. oh. and drunken cherries. Oh, oh good heavens. Ooh, that Keep was talking. my nickname last night. Mm. Drunken cherries. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. It's There's part of that I don't believe, and it isn't the drunk part. <laughs> Just saying. All right, we haven't even had wine. We're already off the rails. We're oh, going to get boy. this back together. It's Friday. Joy, yes, relax. It's Friday. Yeah. But he has We're a weapon. Yes, you know. yes. No, oh, I love it. Um, I was inspired by um, the Atlanta market being mm -hmm. on the show today. We're going to see all these cool kitchenware. I bought pizza scissors. Why? Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I've you been asking know? myself that same question. <laughs> you don't like them? The, uh, it's, a, it's a novel idea. So the idea is, you know, it's shaped like a piece of pizza, and then you slide this under oh. the crust, you cut your piece, Too and messy. then you lift it up. Now, oh. he, here's the problem. Yeah. You have to cut a piece first right. before this that's is your There's only one edge. Yeah. 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 Who, who made that? I, I have no Dollar idea. Dollar Tree. And worse, who, <laughs> Dollar Tree. Who bought it? No, <laughs> yeah. Kitchen Maestro, they have a cool collection. I mean, you know, right. so there's other things. I just Gadgets. This, this was a disappointment for me and will go in I the drawer of all of the other yes. things yes. I've bought. Yes. Poorly designed because yeah. you can't cut both sides. So how uh -huh. are you going to pick it up on this? 
for the first cut. No, and to your point, you've already then dirtied yeah. the, the pizza cutter. The so roller, why yeah. Don't you just and if keep you're cutting. someone who yeah. needs to know what you're cutting and why, it's already covered. <laughs> it's by <laughs> in case I forget. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So good, not, good thought, but no. Not yeah. so much. Yeah, not so much. On the other I just end. don't like breaking the crust with the, with the you know, yeah. you yeah. use the, the roller, roller and it all and it makes goes, a mess. But yeah. I don't know that Well, these. Kim Livingood is here from the Atlanta Home Mart with a whole bunch of products that rock. So we'll solve these problems. Pam, if you need me to touch up, if you need any touch ups on your new do, I have a set of shears up here. I don't know if I'd let them anywhere near you. <laughs> All right, it is time for our first hot topic. And Manatee schools want to extend the school day by 30 minutes. The school board is going forward with a special election on March 20th that would generate $33 million in new property tax revenue. That money would be used to pay teachers more to teach the longer days. The board says more instruction time for higher achievement is their very top priority. Should voters go for this? I think so because children are not in school as long as their parents are away so they end up in some kind of daycare or just sitting after school just sitting there doing Great their point. homework so I think maybe if they were working that 30 more minutes you can learn a lot in that long every week every year I love that point because I think you're exactly right I mean kids who get out of school at 2 30 3 o'clock like especially elementary schools do it uh -huh. hard mm -hmm. on working parents right so right. if it gets the teachers more money it helps test scores by kids being there longer and when they're there anyway mm -hmm. We have lot heard from a lot of our teachers that say there's so much you're expected to do and there's mm -hmm. just not enough time to do yeah. it. And then remember there's the recess studies and teachers are like, yeah, yep. great, we don't have the time built mm -hmm. in. So if it helps them, if they're behind it, I think we should listen to the teachers more because I think a lot of things have come down on them that they uh, didn't really have a say in. Mm -hmm. So if they're behind this, I think we should be. I think we all look back and say we should have listened to our teachers yeah. more. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> for sure. And hopefully the teachers certainly will be in favor. I'm sure they'll be happy oh, about I the can. raise mm -hmm. and I think uh -huh. those 30 yeah. extra minutes are probably happening anyway, quite yeah, honestly. Yeah. So they might as well get paid for it. All right, that's March 20th special election. Make sure Manatee County voters head out and vote. So gym locker rooms are obviously a place where we shower and we get dressed. But is it possible for a gym locker room to have excessive nudity? All right, you know, the people that walk unabashed and uncovered from the shower to their locker, back and forth to the sink with nothing but their birthday suit on. So complaints about this are reportedly pretty common at gyms and clubs, but there typically are no rules about how much naked is too much naked. Have you run into the excessive nudity issue? I have. <laughs> really? Yes. 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 I have You too. have too? Sarasota? In I the mean, Y, actually. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, and it's, it's very, you know, it's not something we want to see. <laughs> I don't want to see you without your clothes on. <laughs> I agree. Like, it's obviously you need to change, but one does not need to go wash their hands but naked. Yes. I don't understand. You know, I grew well, up working in dressing rooms of theaters across the country, so I'm not modest in that regard. However, uh, <laughs> there is a lot of excessive nudity, and if you're shaving your face, you don't need to be without a towel. <laughs> right. I do see it, and I see yeah. it at a, at a lot of areas. And you can't unsee it either. <laughs> I brought my father, so my father, he's gonna kill me for saying this, but I, my father needed to get cardio into his life, so when he was visiting uh, last year, I convinced him to go to a gym with me. So I got him on an elliptical. He wore his gym shorts underneath his jeans, so when he got into the dressing room or the locker room, he could just pull down his jeans and put them in the thing and go out. When he came back in, he saw more, a sea of, of naked older men, and he said, I'm never going to that gym again. <laughs> Oh yes. my gosh. So, so it does happen. I yeah. mean, I think there's sort of a common courtesy that maybe yeah. people don't think is necessary. Well, some people uh, do enjoy that, you know. Um, that's, that's kind of their and, thing, and, and, and then I you're in you gotta, you you are to dealing with an appropriate place to You are uh, dealing with a pumped that. ego a lot of times. Yes, people just got yeah. done working out, although... Not that part. It's usually yeah. not the people that are... <laughs> it's usually not the people that are... They're walking up, around the, that close exactly. on. They're not the yeah. ones that look good. It's, it's what that old saying about a nude beach. It's never the ones you want to see. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, following right along with that, as we age, there's kind of a seemingly endless list of things that sag. I'll spare you the details. But here's what I wasn't prepared to worry about. Earlobes. Years of wearing heavy statement earrings cause them to droop and be pulled. And not just that pierced hole, the actual ear. Injections of fillers can solve our ear hole Stop droop. Uh. Now, I, that, this makes sense to me. Also, most of us forget to put sunblock on our ears, so your ears show yeah. signs of age. Now, the good news is dermatologists say this skin is very, very resilient. So any laser or peel that you might do on your face should be extended to your ears. I have a lot of things sagging, and my ears are the last thing I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, and Bobby Collins, just this morning we were on uh, 107.9, and he brought up a point about the younger generation. They have wheels in their ears now. That's true. I mean, well, that's irreparable in my imagine opinion. Imagine taking that out. You've, uh -huh. You got the right. The and holes I wonder in if that's ears. where this is going to come from. It people fix, be. they're called gauges, I believe. Yes. Uh -huh. How to fix the gauge hole. But even for people who haven't done that, think about the 80s and all those, those oh, earrings. Big earrings. So I saw a before uh -huh. and after when I did the research for this story, and it yeah. makes a difference of where your earring actually sits if your yes. hole has been tightened. Does that if you will. affect how you ladies choose your earrings? I mean, if something's too heavy, are you like, forget it? Well, it's not, not comfortable. It's not comfortable. Yeah. No. yeah. I, I choose for comfort. Me too. First style, second You have comfort. to kind of like hold it up there and yeah. decide if it's going to pull down. Yes, yeah, yeah. I think my but mom has a line instead of a. Uh, an yeah. Right. So those are the kind of things that you fix. Because hmm. now, like, let's say her, her studs would not look good in her line as opposed to having the hole. See, you can fix anything, yes. that's the bottom line Well, here. not exactly. Well, <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> Most things. Well, speaking of SAG, the Queen of England has been forced to fire a very important person, her bra fitter. Not because she Stop wasn't it. getting the job done, but because she broke royal protocol. She published a book, Buckingham Palace Did Not Find Uplifting. It was called Storm in a D Cup. Author and bra fitter June Kenton says this book does not contain anything negative about the royals, but that all vendors must reapply for a royal warrant to serve the queen every five years. And the bra fitter was not renewed. Now, numerous levels here. <laughs> <laughs> like a bra fitter, really, but quite useful, you gotta admit. That's but important. That's terrible that she would write about things that she saw in private. Correct. She is dedicated to keeping that information in private. As I hope you are for what I tell you about <laughs> yeah. myself. I never signed anything that said this stays between us. <laughs> oh, I would not want you guys to would tell you what you know. Would you want to rehire your bra fitter, though, if you've had the same person for that long? Well, I let's back up to the <laughs> whole thing about hiring. Like, so they get to hire who they want. You can only provide things for the queen if you have a warrant, a royal warrant. This whole British thing. That's got to be an yeah. intimate relationship. Well, They'll think of the things you say to your hairdresser or yeah. something. This is more mm -hmm. intimate, and she's been with the bra fitter for that long, I wouldn't want a new person to come How often do no. you have to be no. fitted? But if you get fired, you can't write nasty yeah. things. This is true. This Class is true. Well, it wasn't dictates. nasty. You can't write. She, she did say it wasn't nasty. But when you're talking about somebody's bra, that is very, very personal, and what, it should not be out there. But what, I mean, honestly, how much can you say about that? I mean, you know? <laughs> well, they called her Storm in a D cup. So Storm kind of leads Lucky. me to believe. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, dang, she's a deep <laughs> <She's a laughs> Stormy. That's what I'm calling her. <laughs> and that maybe she was edgy. That was what oh, I took yes. in that. But hmm. I did then take a look at the picture and thought, those are deep cups? Yeah. Oh, I probably little more lift, <laughs> <laughs> Do you All right. host that job? I'm sorry. I'm just real stuck on. Would you like to apply? We're having a oh, sagging theme here. I've never here. worked in England, and I'm, I've always been comfortable with ladies. Do you so know I'm, anything about bras? Well, I could learn. I could learn. <laughs> <laughs> so a perplexing question from the public's express lane. You know what it is. When you go in that 10 item or less lane, do BOGO items count? Because you're really only buying one of them, right? Well, so this debate actually went in front of a judge in Miami mm. after a reporter got busted. He claims he doesn't have to count the free item as part of the BOGOs when he counts his 10 items. The judge actually ruled otherwise and said, everything you put on the belt counts. Anyone trying to squeak through the express lane with extra items, fess up. Do you count? I do. I do. And I've gotten in there and realized I had miscounted by one, and the man behind me brought everybody's attention <gasps> to that. Really? Oh, Were yes. you mortified? Oh, very, very embarrassing. I apologize to practically everybody in what, the store. That's my worst nightmare. Yes. <laughs> Pam, do you count or do you squeak through? Uh, I squeak through. Me too. I'm in a hurry. I gotta go. <laughs> All right. And if they say something to me, I just... Right. Don't hear you. Well, Sorry. If, if I have a handheld basket, I feel like, oh, I'm, I can go in there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's you know. true. If they're small, like to me, yogurt is an item. All right. Well, there were four of them, yeah, but it's right. an item. <laughs> yeah. And I'll make up for time with my debit card out. I'll be exactly. ready. Exactly. Yeah. That's my other check. theory. I am way faster than everybody else anyway, because I can dole them out. I can get them in, and so I'll make up that time. Yeah. Poor Linda got outed at the. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's embarrassing. So embarrassing. That could be the cover of your book, <laughs> Outed at the Express Lane. <laughs> And I'll write it, but don't I fire feel me. Like a yes. <laughs> don't mention any bras and yeah. that. And Stormy there'll be, is there'll outed. Be a, the <laughs> there'll be a subtitle so we understand exactly what outed means. So <laughs> just not to start any rumors. All right, we're going to check in with our happy hour forecast. And when we come back, we're going to learn all about the FSU Oslo Conservatory. Ooh.
Good afternoon, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with your first alert weather forecast. No first alert days anymore. Uh, those are all gone now. No freeze warning, no freeze watch, nothing like that going on tonight. Warmer temperatures are in store. In fact, we'll be back to close to average for highs tomorrow afternoon. It was kind of cloudy with some high cirrus clouds moving in now and again. And uh, sunshine this afternoon did allow temperatures to warm into the mid 60s to even upper 60s in some cases. And here's what's happening currently. We have 64 degrees sunshine, the dew point that never is coming up too. It's been very dry. The pressure is still high, 30-23. And temperatures across the state warming up in Miami too. 70 there, 60 in Jacksonville as well as Tallahassee. And the wind flow will be basically out of the north northeast at four tonight. Uh, you can see that anywhere from seven miles an hour of through Braden and picking up a little bit by late tonight. But five to ten throughout the day on Saturday. Boating conditions improving considerably. Some high cirrus clouds continue to work their way overhead. We'll have much more on that coming up at five. See you then. You may not realize this, but Sarasota is home to a very exclusive graduate program for actors. The FSU Oslo Conservatory only accepts students, 12 students a year from the thousands that audition. And third year student Amy Helms is here to tell us what it's like when you do get in the program. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Congratulations, Yay. you made Thank it. You. I made it. Yay. <laughs> and Along. you auditioned against thousands. <laughs> Pam made it too. Mm -hmm. She graduated. Yeah. We're so proud of you. So why did you decide to audition? What made this draw you here? Well, when I was in undergrad, I was looking at programs that had a classical bent, so spent a lot of time on Shakespeare, mm -hmm. which isn't as common as you mm -hmm. might think. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I wanted a program that would help launch me into the profession. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that FSU Oslo Rep has is they allow you to work to collect weeks at the Oslo, mm -hmm. um, which then translates into points to be able to join the Actors Union. Oh, which, which is a big, mm -hmm. yeah. big thing. So and, it's so a huge help. Yeah. Every year is different. You're a third yeah. year. Every, walk us through the, the first two years. So the first year, you come in, you're like, oh my gosh, I made it. <laughs> and they spend the whole year laying a foundation. You don't do any shows, you don't perform at all, you understudy at the Oslo, and your teachers just spend hours kind of getting you back down to zero. Is yeah, that we difficult? call breaking bad habits. Having yeah. just Literally graduated from another you. program, mm -hmm. is that difficult to then kind of unlearn some things? It is and it isn't. Everyone has bad habits yes. mm -hmm. that they bring with them. You know, it might be tension in your shoulders, it might be the way you speak. Mm -hmm. um, it might be holding your breath when you get anxious. Mm -hmm. And so this is a way for the teachers kind of just be like, you usually know what your bad habits are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these teachers just say, here, we're gonna help you continue on in the journey of replacing these habits. Oh, so great. second year, what's that mm -hmm. like? Second year is a very, very intense year. You are performing in three out of four conservatory shows as well as going to class four days a week. Um, so you spend your day in class and then you have a two hour dinner break and then you go into rehearsal for four hours and are performing. Oh, so you're in the third year. I am. Oh, and you're <laughs> almost through the third year. I'm so, so close. <laughs> what, <yeah. laughs> what is it like? What are you doing now? So in your third year, you are a part of the Oslo Rep company of actors, which is a wonderful experience. You get to work with so many talented actors from across the country. Personally, I am in Shakespeare in Love, mm. which plays until March. It's a great oh, show. It's wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also in Rhinoceros, which is directed by Frank Galati and runs through April. Um, so you get to kind of practice what you've learned the last two mm -hmm. years in this hyper professional setting oh, and it's and a wonderful experience. Alongside other professionals yes, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The networking point. is great oh, it's because wonderful. you've worked with professional directors mm -hmm. and actors. In fact, I just this uh, September uh, was made of honor to a woman I mm -hmm. first met understudying her at the Oslo oh, wow. and yeah. uh, we've been friends for over 30 oh. years. So does and it help you get a job when you get out? It can. Any relationship you yes. have is helpful. Yes. And the people that they bring into the Oslo are just so kind. Yep. And they love the relationship with the conservatory students mm -hmm. as well. And they love sharing their wisdom and helping any way they can. It seems You'll to me that 
Oslo sets you up really well for the next step because they isn't do. there an equity card association? Yeah. That I mean, isn't that like the goal of every actor is to get that <laughs> equity card and that is part of the program graduation? Yeah, yeah. So upon graduation, I will have enough weeks to join Actors' Equity, which is uh, our union. What are you so, doing after that? I am moving to New York. You oh, are? Oh, so, yeah. Well, yeah. With a phone full of contacts. <laughs> yes, right? exactly. Yeah, exactly. Card. Exactly. Yeah. So, or we can't wait you to can see teach. you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're glad. We're glad that you do. <laughs> oh, wow. We wish you all the luck in the world. Thank we can't wait you. to yeah. see you on Broadway. Thank you. And the awesome. FSU Conservatory show, the M with a hat. We can't actually say what that M stands for in this show, but it is running through Sunday, January 21st. Visit the Oslo Rep website for tickets and information and for what that word stands for. <laughs> and coming up next, this weekend's McCurdy's Comedy Headliner is here. Yay, Bobby! My name is Haley. I have fragile X syndrome. I work with Tartwells at Einstein's at FAU. I like being up front and um, interacting with students. The students are very nice and very hungry. Having a job is a big ticket for independence. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was and some additional cancers that were not found during the biopsy. I would recommend the Detoli Cancer Center. As a group of human beings, they are unbelievably great. Once you get atrial fibrillation, you need to have a very close relationship with your primary doctor. Prevention is the whole ball game here, because once you have a stroke, you can't undo it. A year without stroke, it's a year that you can enjoy doing the things that you've worked all your life to finally get to do. You took care of yourself. You did what is necessary for you to be around one more year. And then next year, we'll celebrate one more year without a stroke. Selfless service is the principle that guides Army National Guard soldiers to be ready whenever disaster strikes. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. Selfless service, it's what inspires the men and women of the Army National Guard to be part of something greater than themselves. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more. That is a pretty good breakfast. You're not even eating. Not hungry. No? Why not? What's up? Kath and I knew that Jenny had been partying a bit. Found out she tried heroin. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. Les and I have known comedian Bobby Collins for years, and he was our choice headliner for Les's 60th birthday roast. And now he's back in town at McCurdy's Comedy Theater this weekend. What you been doing, Bobby? Where you been? I was home for a week, at two week, two and a half weeks with my wife and children for Christmas, but my wife. <laughs> I so love nice. my wife. She's Italian from Italy. Harry, Harry woman. <laughs> we vacuum a lot. Uh, oh, she's not watching. People think we have cats. <laughs> Kids, mommy's off the couch. Grab the dirt devil. <laughs> Come on, you're on my side. She's not here. It's been hell. It's been hell. Bobby, why is the television so loud? Because I can't hear it. <laughs> How much toilet paper? Do you, do you wrap your arm? I just want to be sure. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so I've been traveling, and it's so good to come back here to the bubble. Oh, my God, I, I almost got lost on Fruitville Road. Fruitville Road. Because one of the roundabouts, oh, my oh God, God, there's so many roundabouts now. I can't find parking. And I woke up this morning, there was a building, a new one in my bed. <laughs> Did they just keep building here? <laughs> and it's freezing. I farted. My underwear broke. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 
It's good to be back. It's good oh, to see you guys. Daddy. It's nice. Oh, God. I'm going back to Mar-a-Lago. Uh, May 3rd. Yes, yeah. I was there. I've known Donald Trump for... Why do people get so passionate in this country about politics? Politics, break it down. What's a poly? An expensive trained bird that repeats everything you say. What's a tick? It's a blood-sucking insect. <laughs> Pay your taxes, wear a helmet, stay low. People get <laughs> passionate about this. 17% approval of our elected officials, but yet they get in office 93% of the time. You think your vote really means anything? It's all about the money. And people get all passionate. Oh my God, Donald Trump, I've known him. Last time I was there, he came over to me, true story. I'll probably get in trouble for this. <laughs> He's not watching. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. No. He's and, tweeting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he came over to me uh, with uh, Celine Dion, and he said to me, Bobby, good show. And I started to laugh, because I'm from New York. I can't believe this man's the president. And I went, thank you, Mr. President. And then he said to me, did you vote for me? I, I'm an honest comic. I go, I would have rather voted for El Chapo. <laughs> <laughs> And all his boys laughed. You know, the uh, Banyan, uh, what's the name, the woman with the... <laughs> we represent the Lollipop Guild. The oh, my God, what a world. You know, we're sharing the planet now with a lot of different types of people. We have to start thinning out the herd. You know, the gene pool could use some chlorine. Oh, my, people get passionate about it. What's happening? Have I been in a coma? LGBTQ. I just want to know where to pee. <laughs> you know? I see women pushing carriages. I look in. They're dogs. <laughs> are women giving birth to animals now? <laughs> <laughs> and the kids are on leashes. Yeah, that's funny. And we got the new president. I guess orange is the new black. <laughs> What a world, huh? Oh, we love it when Bobby Collins oh, comes God. back. There's nothing we don't learn about. And he is at McCurdy's Comedy Theater January 19th and 20th. Of course, go to the website for tickets and showtime. Stay out of trouble, Bobby. Oh. Uh, let's keep trying. Yeah. All right, coming up next, our gift girl has the latest trends from the Atlanta home market. There's nothing like this, this trail in Alabama. It just goes from the northern part of the state to the southern part of the state. We see all kind of different terrains, great value, great fun. We've been coming for 18 years. We started off with a group of eight, grew to 12, and grew to 16. And we love it because where else can you get world-class golf courses with world-class accommodations? To be able to play these type of courses in this environment and the difficulty uh, keeps us coming back over and over and over again. Florida Studio Theater presents the eight-time Tony Award winner, Once, held over by popular demand. Captivating and breathtaking, Once is an unforgettable story about going for your dreams and the power of music to connect us all. Critics are calling Once engaging and heartwarming, outstanding, and a flawless production. Audiences are calling it phenomenal and better than Broadway. Once must close January 19th. Tickets can be purchased by calling 941-366-9000 or by visiting floridastudiotheater.org. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why it is heroin, heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. For more than 100 years, American Humane Association has been teaching kids to be kind to animals. Those in our homes, on the farms, on the silver screen, and wildlife conservation caring for the world's vanishing creatures. But we can't do it alone. Visit kindness100.org to find ways to teach kids how they can make a more caring, compassionate, and humane world for all of us. You got a king? Go fish! In your face! In your face! 
It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. The thought of my sons growing up without me inspired me to quit smoking. I talked to my doctors, and then I threw away all my cigarettes, ashtrays, and lighters. I started exercising instead of smoking. Letting my friends online know I was quitting kept me on track. Staying away from alcohol when I was first quitting was key. I kept on trying, learned something each time. Do whatever it takes. No matter how many times it takes. We did it. You can, too. For free help, visit cdc.gov tips. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to check back in with Chef Ray from Madison's 41, and we are creating a gorgeous dessert with you today. I understand there's a special reason. Yes, we are having a wine, a six-course wine dinner, um, Han Vineyard, um, next Saturday, and um, we're going to do um, a little chocolate cake that actually has red wine in it. Oh, so I I'm like what I one hear. Of the All right, that is a Han wine dinner, one of my favorites. I will admit, it is at N Madison's, of course, and related to Forks and Corks, which is also coming up next weekend. That dinner is January 27th. More details on Madison's website. Joey? America's Mart in Atlanta is a huge marketplace that hosts an international gift and home furnishing show in January every year. It is where many of our Sunco stores actually go to choose their products. Well, our gift girl, Kim Livingood from the Eclipse Agency, was there and she brought us back some of her favorite finds. All right, I know people say you have a fun job, but I would have killed to go Me with you. Me too. <laughs> the market is kind of like UTC on steroids. Oh, wow. I mean, seriously. What is it like to be there before we get into the products? Explain the scope of it. It's a little overwhelming. It's where all the buyers of retail stores go to look for what's next. This is um, a video of one of three buildings. Wow. Oh it is, um, there are 18 floors. Oh my oh, gosh. There are permanent <laughs> booths. There are temporary booths. It is like store after store oh, after store. That so is heaven. It's, wow. it's yeah. a little overwhelming. And I can tell you, I was there four days. Good Lord. I did not see everything. Wow. Do you get, Kim, do but you get you leads? Tried. I tried. Do you get leads on like some hot things that are up and coming you absolutely, don't miss? Absolutely, absolutely. There are definitely some trends that stand out more than others, which is leads me perfectly mm -hmm. to the first company Simply Southern yeah. was the bell of the ball. Oh, nice. So really? at, you know, at every event, there's someone that's like the, the star of the yes. show. Uh -huh. This brand was just the star. They had two different areas constantly filled with people buying. They passed out bags um, and the lanyards, everybody was wearing them. They were huge. They sell t-shirts, they sell lunch boxes, they sell, of course, everybody's favorite drinkware, Tervis Tumblr yes, license. Uh -huh. with the oh, new stainless nice. steel. Yeah. Licenses with them. Mm. Um, and oh, set that baby down so we can see it oh, right sorry. next so, to you. Perfect. So I know, it's hard. Yeah. When I have Tervis in front of me, I want to grab it. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. And one of the things that um, a lot of the different brands were doing that I thought was really cool was donating back to causes. Yes. Oh, good. So yep. at the show, Simply Southern announced their Save the Turtle campaign. So oh. they have a whole collection of products with the turtles, and 10% of all the proceeds are going to go back to turtle foundations. Hopefully, some money will go back to Moat Marine. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. As they're based in the South. So oh, really, love those. really fun stuff. Actually, my dress, so excited, Simply Southern. Yeah, very oh, yeah. And this is right out of Molly's Boutique right here. Yes. So this is like a hometown stores doing she great. is one of the retailers that sells a lot mm -hmm. of the oh. things there molly's boutique super cute gift shop she does most of her buying at this market and that's oh, what we've learned great. that so much our find. stores go there to get their wares it yes. reminds me of fashion week in a way in that you wait to yep. see what the hot things are and then you'll see them throughout the year the wine is always mm -hmm. trendy mm -hmm. absolutely well yes. this was cool too because these are candles mm, and yeah. they are also part of that trend of giving back these are called rescue wine candles, oh. and so not only do no they better cause they <laughs> <laughs> rescue the wine stuff, <laughs> save the wine. There's a cause we can get behind. So they rescue the wine bottles, <laughs> then oh, all yeah. their flavors are scented with Merlot oh. or Chardonnay, and they're donating back to either animal causes or they just launched a turtle cause. Oh, so really? turtles must be like the, the hot trending. new Everybody trending. Yes, yeah, that's turtles. great and great for our area. Now I, I know we have a lot of sports fans on the Sun Coast. Something about the South. We love <laughs> our sports. So yes, collegiate products, mm. sports products were everywhere. I had to bring this puzzle back for Steph. I know yes. she's a big Cubs <laughs> fan. Um, this is 
oven mitts. And they also give back to a charity called um, Joe's Kids. So 10% of all the profits go to Joe's Kids. They have all the NFL teams. They have collegiate. They do the, they call spatulas. Those are cute. So they're cute. spatulas. They have them for indoor, outdoor, with your favorite college. That's really Aww. cool. With yeah. And I know that there's some battles going on in Florida, yeah. so if this is not your team, there the other are one other is teams. There. Big battle. Number there. one team right here. I had to bring this one back. <laughs> I know very little about sports, but I know people get heated about That's their right. teams. <laughs> I love this next one. Me Tell too. us about this so book. This is called The Book Seat, and it was a company out of Australia, and a mother and daughter created this amazing product where you can sit and it holds your book. So you know when you're reading and it's really uncomfortable yes. and you gotta hold mm -hmm. the page, you gotta, you know, it's just uncomfortable. This makes it really comfortable, holds your page. It also works for tablets. So you oh, can Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Cause my arms fall asleep from my iPad. I'm yes, so you say. can yes. read in bed. The company is wonderful. They work with people that are um, disabled to manufacture their products. Oh, great. Nice. And it's just, I, I loved meeting them and I wish oh, that, wow. I hope they are very successful new products. Oh, great. Now this is real cute. Let's spend just a little time on this pirate beep egg. So this is when you want to hard boil or soft boil your egg. Oh, my it helps you out. So you keep it in the refrigerator with your egg carton. Then when you put your eggs in your pot, you throw the egg in there and it starts to beep different songs. And oh, I think wow. that one Good will boy. play. So the mafia I'm one. Bring it up so you can hear a little. If it's soft boiled, it's oh, gonna play wow. the Godfather <laughs> theme. That's amazing. And then if it's hard boiled, that one will play the prisoner's choir. This oh, is great because oh honestly, boiling eggs is it's as not a, easy. It's as a, so as a hard. People. Timing matters. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. And they have all different themes and they all play different That's songs. That's cute. And Pam pointed out the pirate. Great for Gasparilla. Yeah, Gasparilla. All right. Been. This has been, uh, at least on our table, this looks like the star. Tell us about it. I am Step so excited fire. about this. Watch this is out. a smoking box. How do I know and when I get it? It'll start to go. So okay. we all like infused smoke in yes. our cocktails. I know a lot of our restaurants do it. Yeah. It's a big movement in craft cocktails. And this is a way that you can do it at your home. That's so dangerous I, and dangerous amazing. Dangerous and amazing. <laughs> yeah. okay. So you get the um, little wood pellets in the smoking gun to work, mm -hmm. and then it'll start to it'll start to smoke up and turn on, and this will fill up with smoke, and, and it'll get that really smoky there it flavor. Goes. There it yeah, goes. There it is. So oh, this is wow. from oh, Fortessa Smoking Box. That's and amazing. It's available at the tabletop at a great gift shop in Venice. Wow. I love it. Perhaps I overdid oh, it. Yeah. I think we're smoking the studio. You might need a vape on the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna resolve a little bit of a smoking issue, and wow. we will be back, but first, we want, if you wanna know anything more about these products or some amazing other products. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's gosh. like drinking you from the Monsters Kim's cup. website, <laughs> the Eclipse oh. Agency. I hope there's no sprinklers. Next, before the fire alarms <laughs> come off, we are going to be <laughs> continuing our shopping with the Rosemary Indie Market. We'll be right back. <laughs> ABC7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. All right, cool. Let's get started. All right. Don't ignore the law. You must call 811 at least two to three days before any digging project so you can avoid hitting our essential buried utilities. For digging projects big or small, make the call to 811. From our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Good afternoon, I'm Jacqueline Matter. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. With a rising number of flu cases across the U.S., what local clinics are seeing and how many absences are being racked up at Suncoast schools. Plus, a deadly disease that affects dogs hits a local animal rescue. The problems that shelter is now facing, trying to help some of its affected animals. Now let's get a check on our first alert weather forecast with Bob Harrigan. Right now we're looking at generally fair skies up and down the coast. Some high cirrus clouds have been moving in and you can see currently we have uh, sunny skies at the airport, 64 degrees and the dew point temperature now at 43, humidity at 46%, winds are out of the west, northwest at 8 and the pressure 30, 23. Now as far as the forecast goes, look for generally light winds out of the northeast. We could see a little bit of patchy fog forming overnight. Look for a much warmer forecast for the weekend. We'll have the details of that coming up at 5. See you then. Get breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app.
Ever since I can remember, I've been intrigued by industrial design and the optimization. Wait, that's passion? Ever since I can remember, my passion has been industrial design. We need 3D printers for Miss Adams' engineering program so that we are ready to solve 21st century challenges. Impressive. Think It Up is a new initiative to support student-powered, teacher-led learning projects. Students and teachers, how can you spark great learning experiences in your classroom today? Think It Up. The classic film Singing in the Rain is coming to the Player Center in a live stage show opening January 17th. All the dances and all the songs you've come to know and love, all a part of our wild Broadway series. Get your tickets now for this limited run by calling the players at 365-2494 or visit us online at theplayers.org. You too can be singing in the rain. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels. Because love has no labels. Shopping local is one of my very favorite pastimes, and the monthly Rosemary Indie Market offers some very unique products that are made here on the Sun Coast by artisans. Ashley Rogers is the organizer, and she also is the owner of the Canned Ham Vintage Shop. Welcome back, Ashley. Morning, We're everyone. so happy to Morning. have you. Thank you. So the Indie Market every month, yep. you organize this. It's Why a, in the Rosemary District? Well, the Rosemary District is seeing a lot of growth, and we want to make sure that that growth really stays within the boundaries of what the Rosemary Indie Market and the district is all about. It's always been a lot of design and a lot of art, artists being able to live there affordably and being able to show their wares, and we want to make sure it stays that way with what all this growth. What kind of things can we find there? Well, we kind of do a little bit of everything. It's like a farmer's market and a craft show. Had a really weird little baby. So everything <laughs> from clothing to antiques. It's a little funky, but we like to keep it that way because of the district's uh, history with that. So clothing, handmade, antiques, jewelry, lots of great gift items for Valentine's Day, which is coming up. Oh, yes. this sounds nice. perfect. A great place to shop. Mm -hmm. So show us what you brought today. So I brought canned ham. Has two favorite things in the shop. I started out by collecting hats and my mother started vintage by collecting Pyrex, which is kind of what mm. we see on the table here. Mm -hmm. it, we, it takes us all back to our oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. growing Very up. Very nostalgic. Oh, Look at that I had stuff. one. Did you have a set of this? I still have these. Yes. Ah. And I have one of these. This is the most classic pattern. It's this very, one? yes, very nostalgic for me. I grew up with this pattern mm -hmm. and it was produced in 1945. So that's wow. how old that is. The company that produces it, they've been producing this for over 100 years. Wow. So that's why everybody has it, because yeah. it's been yeah. around forever. And I can look at that and say my mom put salad in the green yep. bowl, yes. my dad yes. had mashed potatoes in right. the yellow bowl. We whipped yes. the whipped cream and the yep. blue bowl. Chocolate yeah. can chip you, cookies. <laughs> can you still get those? Do they still produce them, or are they only vintage? vintage. They are only vintage. Every now and then, like for their 100 year uh, anniversary, they did do a new product where it was the polka dot. It was the primary oh, I polka saw dot. One of the, this, that was oh, three this years is the ago. polka dot. No, the polka dot. Um, really has polka dot? Really has polka dot. <laughs> and it was only available for like, a, uh, like six months or so wow. to a year, uh, three years ago. So it's very limited. So, so that's why it's so collectible. And this one, Pam said she has one of this yeah. with the lid, yep. and I have one of this with the lid. So maybe oh. if we get together, we have two. Yes. Well, <laughs> this is yeah. fake. It comes in sets, and it's great for the fridge if you make sauces and things like that, because it's also not classic, which yeah. you know well, we're trying exactly. to say. Exactly. That's, that's, that's a high-quality glass. Yes. 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 And yes. you can great. bake it. What I do, like with the round pieces over here, I do um, a wheel of brie, and then you put fruit on top of it, oh. and then you put it in the oven, and then when you bring it out, it's so cute, you can put it right on the table. Yes. You don't well, have and to I, worry about I it. I thought these were called corning ware when I was growing mm -hmm. up. Is that, are they corning? That's right. Corning makes Pyrex. So oh, did not what know that. they did, corning ware actually produced this uh, kind of glass for uh, lanterns, and then they found that it worked really well with the heat of lanterns, right. so they decided to kind of convert it to, um, Houseware. Because you can go Brilliant. fridge to oven with yes, it. Yes, right. that's the Which great thing. You can't do with plastic. No, so you, you go can't. out and you 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 find the Pyrex and you yep. have it. In, where do you find it? 
everywhere. Do you hunt? We, I mean, uh, each got a piece. So yeah. we, have a cool sales. Sales. we do have sales. a cool job. Um, Pyrex is really hard sometimes because you can only find like one piece here and there. Uh -huh. So we work really hard to put sets together. Oh, so okay. sometimes we'll find one blue bowl, yeah. and then six months from then we'll find one yellow wow. bowl. So, so then we, you'll put it together and right. sell it as a set. Yes, because oh. everybody wants the sets. Because look at how well I have they the display. red. I know Pam one. and I want to talk Let's to you after you the know. show. Yeah. I have the blue. So you're halfway to a set. Yeah. Call us. Now you need the yellow, and then you need the lids, which sometimes because oh, yeah. you get those separated. You Love also that. collect hats, so tell me about the yes, hats. Yes, that's, that's how cute I started. That's that you have on. You started with hats? That's how I started. Oh. Someone gave me a hat as a young girl, and she was very fabulous, very artistic, great lady, and her name was Kat. And uh, from there, growing Kat. up, I had to have every hat you could find. Cat in the oh, hat, cat, cat, cat in the hat. hat. That's a total coincidence. I had no idea if that was true. It's a family friend. I was probably about six when she gave oh, me this hat. Oh, when you started oh, wow. all yeah. this. And it became your career. Well, eventually. Uh, yeah. It was an interesting that. path to get there. I've had lots of careers, but this was always a hobby. So we were able to make it, you know, our passion into a job, which is really Isn't wonderful. Isn't that what we all want is when yes. your passion yes, becomes your job? Yes, there are so many mm -hmm. occasions here where you need a hat, yep. but and they're not fun. every week, so you can't find a hat. Right. That's this is exactly so right. great to know. Yes. You've got some really unusual yes, ones. You. Tell us some of the ones you, you brought. Just I brought give us an overview. Some, okay, so what we have here is ranging from 40s to mm -hmm. about 60s. The red hat is definitely more of the 60s vibe. Mm -hmm. It's wool. It's got some great feathers wrapped around it. Great for every day running around. And then we have some hats that are a little bit more event hats, which you can kind of think about. Um, the European, what they're mm -hmm. doing, lots of hats are really coming back. They Kate are. Middleton. Yes, we Kate see Middleton that. Kate Middleton loves oh, hats. Yes. Yeah. How cool. So we that see kind that. Of connects to oh, what a fun thing. And the market is coming up this yep. weekend. So you can find all of these great things. The Rosemary District Indie Market is Saturday, January 20th. It's from 10 until 3, and you can visit their website for more information. We'll be right back. There's nothing like this, this trail in Alabama. It just goes from the northern part of the state to the southern part of the state. We see all kind of different terrains, great value, great fun. We've been coming for 18 years. We started off with a group of eight, grew to 12, and grew to 16. And we love it because where else can you get world-class golf courses with world-class accommodations? To be able to play these type of courses in this environment and the difficulty uh, keeps us coming back over and over and over again. We have all the ethnic background from different places, community and out of state, and we're coming together to learn how to release, restore, and improve our status in Jesus Christ. It just brings all of us women together. We're going through like problems. We're able to establish friendships. Um, sisterhoods are formed. Sunday morning at 7.30 on ABC7. Are you a food lover, restaurant goer, or home cook? Then check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, and helpful step-by-step -step videos. And you'll love the restaurant guide with direct links to your favorite Suncoast eateries. Whether you're cooking in or dining out, whet your appetite with tasty tips from Chef Judy at MySuncoast.com slash dining. We've all heard how military veterans adjusting to the civilian world may have certain issues. 30. 70. If only everyone had this issue. No matter what challenge they face, Easter Seals is here for America's veterans. WWSB ABC7 is an equal opportunity employer, and we're looking for qualified people to join our dynamic team. For a list of current openings and to apply online, visit www.mysuncoast.com slash contact slash employment. If you're a motivated team player and you want a rewarding career in a fun, fast-paced working environment, WWSB ABC7 could be the perfect fit for you. Check out our list of openings now. Coast Guard, we are taking on water. The United States Coast Guard. They secure our ports and waterways, protect our environment, keep drugs away from our kids, and save lives. It's dangerous work. And in times of triumph or tragedy, 
the Coast Guard Foundation answers the call to support Coast Guard members and their families. Learn more at CoastGuardFoundation.org. We had so much fun yesterday, if you missed our show, with Audrey Landers with us. It is so amazing to have such a huge TV star live right here on the Sun Coast. We love it that she stops by to hang out with us. And we also love that she is going to be performing. She is a very accomplished singer, something not everyone knows. And she's going to perform with the Pops Orchestra coming up on February 11th and 12th. And I love the name, From Dallas with Love. Yes. How appropriate. But she has a very yeah. wide range of music. She's also a very skilled arranger. And it'll be fun to hear her mm -hmm. performance. And she's actually going to come give us a little preview on the show coming up before oh, the big nights on yes. February she's 11th gorgeous. and 12th. She is so beautiful. She is. she is stunning. I pick my clothes very carefully, Linda, when she's here with us because, I, you know, you just got to got to stand up to the challenge. So we love Audrey very much. And we also love chocolate, wine, and cherries. And that's what we have with Madison's in the kitchen. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. From our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what's coming up at the top of the hour. A bold anti-smoking plan from the FDA. We'll look at how, with the help of big tobacco, cigarettes may be soon become less addictive. And first alert traffic. Right now we're seeing some slowdowns on I-75. There's yellow on the map as you head north from around Fruitvale Road in Sarasota past State Road 64 in Manatee County. Get another check on the weather now with Bob. Well, finally, Scott, things are getting slightly back to uh, more normal conditions here along the Sun Coast. Lots of sunshine this afternoon. Some high clouds moving in from the Gulf with a system well out to the west of us. Now the dew point temperature coming up as well. Uh, it looks like no frost, no freeze problems overnight tonight. Finally, uh, getting back to more seasonal conditions. We'll have light winds out of the northeast overnight. That may allow for some patchy fog to form. We'll have more in our forecast for the weekend coming up at 5. See you then. Download the all-new ABC7 First Alert weather app now. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Good kisses. Good kisses. You heard how loud I, I, I heard. I heard. It wasn't you. Yeah. It was the. Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. I took my first handful of pills, and that's when all my priorities seemed to change. He would ask to use the bathroom in other people's homes. He just assumed that they would have medication. He'd go in their medicine cabinets and steal prescription drugs. I wish I knew really what these prescription pills were. We were so naive about the whole drug thing. These are all synthetic forms of heroin. Keep your medication locked up because you'll never notice that a pill is gone. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Meet Blue. Blue's not feeling well. The prescription? Generic medication. Blue wonders, do they really work as well as name brands? Yes, generics and name brand medications do work the same. Even though they may look different, generics have the same key ingredients. FDA approval is equally rigorous for generics to make sure they're as safe and effective as name brands. And Blue even saves some green, making him a little less, well, blue. Talk to your doctor about generics and visit FDA.gov slash generic drugs. A decade of war has taken an unprecedented toll on our men and women in uniform. Hundreds of thousands of our veterans are suffering from the trauma of war. At Justice for Vets, we believe that every veteran should have the opportunity for treatment and restoration. Get involved and go to justiceforvets.org. Help put treatment within reach of veterans in crisis. Veterans fought for our freedom. Now it's our turn to fight for theirs. 
Every week on Animal Outtakes, it's a new animal adventure. It's a job that most would not want. It requires quick reflexes and a thirst for the daring. Extracting venom from some of the most deadly snakes in the world. Coming up Monday at 4 on Suncoast View, businesses and buildings keep springing up all over the Suncoast. We'll get development details from our expert. The first Lego competition is coming here. Some very smart and capable kids will show us some building tricks. Plus, we'll learn how to silence our inner critic to succeed. And Stottlemyre's Smokehouse joins us in the kitchen. Welcome, Welcome back. back. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me chocolate. Come on, Pam. Fire up. <laughs> Hello. We're here with Chef Ray from Madison's 41. And Chef, you've brought some of our favorites. Ex chocolate, wine, cherries. How? Where's the magic exactly. beginning? Can it be yeah. any better? Do we yeah. have to cook? This Can't we just perfect. feast? <laughs> yeah. 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 So, Tell us how to make what we're doing. Well, I'm gonna, first we're going to make a red wine chocolate cake. Okay. Because we were, we're actually serving the Bone Shaker Zinfandel with mm. this course at the dinner, and I wanted to incorporate it into the recipe. Okay. So I actually put it into the cake. So we're going to start with some sugar, some flour, mm -hmm. and we're going to sift some cocoa. And I have two okay. different sugar cocos flour. there. Flour I first. Have, flour, yep. Flour. Um, sugar? Weren't you supposed to sift that? No, no, just the oh, cocoa powder. Just the is cocoa. Fine. Okay. I know what I'm doing. Sorry. I know I'm what out. I'm, I'm just going to drink wine. Already been, she's been tutored already. <laughs> so I have a black cocoa powder and a brute cocoa powder. What's the difference? Well, the black cocoa powder is used in, like an Oreo. You know how dark mm -hmm. that is? Yeah. That's, that's made with a black cocoa powder. Okay. So this is something new on the market Ooh. that is accessible huh. now to just everyone, where you couldn't get it before. The that difference in flavor? It's, it's a deeper, deeper flavor. Oh, and the wow. same thing with my regular cocoa powder, I use what's called a brute. So again, it's a darker, richer, Heavier. Oh, can you get this chocolate. powder in a, just a regular grocery store? Do we have to go to um, the black specialty? cocoa powder? You can actually get online now. I haven't okay. found it in the grocery stores. And the um, brute Hershey has an uh, extra dark yes. special yep. blend, special dark. which is close okay. to it. And quality matters with this cocoa powder, right? It I does. mean, I've always yeah. heard that's I mean, where you spend the money. Chocolate. I mean, I mean. Valrona, you can spend, it's unbelievable. I mean, I can't even justify buying it. It's that right. expensive. Wow. So, Anything but when you're working, everything can be dumped in all at once and just uh, mix everything? it up. Yep. All right, now let me ask is, about the wine because you mentioned you were using this wonderful eggs. Zinfandel. Mm -hmm. Does it matter if we cook with cheaper well, wine when we're baking? Because yeah. I'd hate to and put fancy wine in my well, cake. In, yeah, yeah but in this recipe, you want this a real like heavy, full bodied wine. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you want, you, I mean, a Pinot Noir in there would be washed out. You wouldn't get any of okay, that. Okay, so it is so important you, to use wine. the big wine. Exactly. You want a big wine to, to stand up to that chocolate. All right. It's just hard to pour good wine into a I cake. Know, but, <laughs> but it's only it's only a cup. You'll get it back cup. later. So You're right. All right. You still have three quarters to be of the budget bottle. budget friendly, people. It's January. <laughs> and then with this, with this cake, believe it or not, what this is that? General, this is actually hot cream. This recipe originally had hot coffee into it at the end. Oh, sure, because oh. of that depth. And it actually dissolves that powdered cocoa, uh -huh. and it makes it a smoother, creamier, more velvety cake. OK. Like so this is what we're going to do. We're going to just dump that hot cream into there and continue mixing that. And then that's just going to go into our mold. If you guys want, you can dump this heavy cream into this chocolate, and we're going to make a little ganache. Go this way, cream yep. into chocolate. Cream into the chocolate. OK. And are these, these are just chocolate discs? What are those called? Um, these are, this is a 54% um, chocolate. That's okay. a Calibo chocolate. Yeah. But if you could get a, a Ghirardelli bar mm -hmm. at the grocery store, mm -hmm. which is, those would be perfect for that. Chop it up. Now, that. how do you decide which percentage of chocolate to use for what? Because I know you also mentioned you have a darker you know, more bitter chocolate. Correct. Too. How do you um, decide it, what it, to use? I just play with it and find out what works for me. You know, I would I, like to play with chocolate <laughs> for my job. Yeah. I, I really like the darker chocolate. I really mm -hmm. I mean I'm not right. a milk chocolate mm -hmm. fan. Me I either. like that that I like that rich too too sweet is not for me. Okay, we're getting down so to our final perfect. minute here. So, so I we want got you to do our assembly. chocolate cake, which okay. I've already baked. Yep. And I have some of the cherry juice that we've Thickened up with a little arrowroot. Okay, and you call those drunken cherries drunken because cherries. they're soaked in cognac. They're so what I did is bring um, brown sugar, white sugar, cognac, um, cinnamon sticks, cloves, oh. and then you bring the liquid to a boil, and then you pour it over the fresh cherries that have just been pitted. Uh -huh. Put it in the refrigerator for a month. 
A month? A month. A month. And then you can At have least. one every hour. Oh. At least. <laughs> That's the danger. At least. <laughs> All right, you make your magic, and I'm going to pour so, this at the I have the a little end. chocolate decorations that, I, okay. that I've That's already made. Chocolate. This is absolute that is chocolate. This is a chocolate transfer that I just made Okay, if morning. you are as transfixed by this as I am, you are definitely going to want to come to the special Han Wine Dinner. I will tell you from personal experience, it is an amazing winery. I stopped there on my honeymoon. Can't. Oh. I'm so excited that they're here on the Sun Coast. I can't wait. January 27th. Tickets at Madison's.com. And this will be the dessert that is being featured by Chef nice. Ray. Pam, thanks for coming. Very fun Thank Friday. You. I appreciate time with the everyone. chocolate. Just Happy ending. You, chocolate and wine. It doesn't get any better. Take some time. Enjoy the Sun Coast view. We are enjoying having Chef Ray here. Thank Cheers. you so much. Thank you.